Every time there's a fifth Sunday in a month uh, at Timberline, we do our Faith in Action Sundays. We lock the doors and cancel all of our regular programming and we go out and serve the community in practical ways. One of the things that we do is we offer free oil changes for single moms, uh, spouses of deployed military personnel, uh, the unemployed, uh, and, and widows. And it's just a practical way to show the love of Jesus to them. It was just more than I thought it would be. If it wasn't for the event here, I would probably go without an oil change for a while. I get off of my car and fuel for myself, and that's a wonderful thing. Um, actually, I heard about it a few years ago from my sister. Said that the church um, was doing some free oil changes for single parents and I believe military. I actually had a lady come over and talk to me from the church, and you know, I got to know about her life, and she got to know about mine, and it was. It was quite a lot of relationship just, you know, within a half an hour and it made me feel good that she came over and was interested in me. I think that it's important for people to see that um, church is outside of the building and applied and the love and the support that you're giving people here is a blessing to many. And not only do they help you out getting your oil changed, they help you out doing other things. When I first went, I had just had my stroke, they came out and cleaned my yard. I had to take early retirement, so I'm on a fixed income. So it's like, okay, do I buy food, medicine, or do I go get the oil changed in a vehicle? Now I can buy food for my family and get my medicine I need, and you guys help out with the oil change, which means the world to me because I can't always get the oil changed when my oil needs changed in my vehicle. So you guys have helped out tremendously. It's a great community atmosphere and a chance for us to, to help people. And uh, oftentimes we, we get a chance to talk with people and find out uh, you know, maybe there's some other needs that we can help with. Uh, on, or at, at a minimum, oftentimes we find ourselves just being able to pray and encourage uh, somebody uh, while they're having their, having their car serviced. And so that's just, that's just a, a very simple way that we look to model as a church the importance of looking for practical ways to be a blessing to other people.